we are. One Love Park. This park is located across the street from 2311 Tattnall Street. Uh, and that is the house that singer-songwriter Bob Marley occupied with his mother in 1966. He lived here in order to raise funds for his uh, record label in Jamaica. Marley had an alias known as Donald Marley, and he worked as a lab assistant in DuPont and the assembly line uh, at the Chrysler plant nearby, among other jobs. Well, he worked a lot of jobs. Renamed One Love Park in 2014, taking from the singer's hit song with the Whalers, One Love, People Get Ready. How exciting. If you go down here, and there it is. This is the house Bob Marley lived in, or should I say Donald Marley lived in with his mother. I saw I, I saw a video on YouTube where they I think he bought the house next door too. But check out this. I love this. Bob Marley steps. Look at all these steps Bob Marley had to walk up to get to his front porch. Bob Marley had to move in a sofa. He had to carry it up all those steps. Oh boy. If you go down the street, there's another house with a Bob Marley mural on it. And it's actually, it's like Bob Marley's, I believe her aunt, his aunt or... Uh, maybe a uh, a cousin, but they live right here at this house. This is where relatives of Bob Marley live now. And uh, they sell hats. So if you're in the market for a hat, why not buy one from the family of Bob Marley? What's your favorite Bob Marley song? Let me know in the comments. Mine is uh, No Woman, No Cry. Look at the beautiful steps. Look at the door. There's a little picture of Bob in the door. And, uh, yeah, one love. When they opened the park in 2014, Stephen Marley, one of Bob's sons, was here. I turned the GPS off. <laughs> one love park. So this is Wilmington. I think I'm in Wilmington, Delaware. Hello, friend. I'm in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, there's there, there's the beautiful skyline of Wilmington. Mostly, I think Wilmington, like Delaware. Oh, it might be too windy for a scooting video. Delaware, like credit card companies are based out of Delaware. Oh, it's oh, it's too windy for a scoop. It's too windy for a scoop. We're gonna, we're gonna head back to the car and just go to another spot. There it is. Bob Marley's house. It's the one with the porch, not the enclosed porch. Porch, not porched. I hate windy videos where all you hear is the wind. You now let's do a quick scoot. We'll do, we'll do a big scoot here in One Love Park. One love, one da, da. Da, 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 and we'll be all right. Uh-oh. That's it. One Love Park. We did it. All right. Here we are. This is not Independence Hall. This is Independence Mall. This is a strip mall in Delaware. Look at this. Look at Todd. This is Todd's store. Todd does hair, nail, nails, and skin but this is a melting pot restaurant and it's built as an exact replica of independence hall it's on the border or close to the border of pennsylvania and delaware um it's smaller let's take a picture of the let's see what this says it's definitely not okay, this is independence hall built in 1773 the, steep, the steeple was built by a guy named William Strickland. This is about the real Independence Hall. <laughs> and if you go here, it's a melting pot. Fondue. For who? You. When? 4 p.m., 9 p.m. Monday through Sunday. Uh, I've never done the melting pot. Let's see.
man, I hate windy days. This is a, uh, just from a vlogging standpoint. For I don't mind it the rest of my life, but. So this is the target on Naaman's Road. This is like on the border of Pennsylvania and Delaware. And uh, the good thing about, well, one of the only good things about Delaware is it, it's home of tax-free shopping. And uh, I think this might be one of the biggest targets in the world. And it's one of the busiest because of the tax-free thing. It's Christmas time. Here we are. Get your Christmas albums. You can buy a Frank Sinatra Christmas album at any thrift store for a dollar. Yeah, the, wind, the wind's horrible today. So I can't really explore Delaware the way I want to on scooter. So uh, I just realized it's Indigenous People Day, Columbus Day. And uh, one of my favorite festivals in Philadelphia is going on. So I'm going to go check that out right now. I just got an email from Mr. Netflix, and uh, it turns out the turnaround, which will be available on Netflix October 18th, uh, was just nominated for uh, two awards, and uh, one is Best Sports Documentary, and the other one is Best Shorts Documentary, so uh, how about that? Ain't that some shit? movie comes out on Friday on Netflix. Oh, it's so windy. I hate windy videos. Yeah, so the movie comes out on Netflix. Uh, congratulations to Ben and Kyle. Uh, ben Proudfoot's the director. Kyle Thrash is the director. You know, you should check out... You can check out movies before the turnaround comes out. You can check out Maybe This Year. It's a documentary about the Philadelphia Eagles and their passionate fans. There's also a documentary called The Sentence of Michael Thomas. It's like a serious crime documentary. And... Uh, Last year, Ben Proudfoot was the direct. It was also the director of the movie. He won the Oscar for the Last Repair Shop, and you can watch that on YouTube right now. It's a really good movie. So Delaware was a bust. So what we're going to do today? It is Indigenous People Day here at Penn Treaty Park. So when you come in, they have a bunch of little uh, shops where they, they have uh, handmade crafts that you can buy. Flutes, look at this. Oh. oh, look at this. They have the the Karate Kid 2 truck. And pretty much for, I think it's like for like five or six hours they have performers up on that stage uh, over there they have a guy doing storytelling and then you can you know they have different types of foods to try out how how windy it is today you got all these blankets and stuff blowing in the, the wind we're going to show you a historic location this is the spot where pennsylvania was founded in 1681 you see this and in this spot stood the great elm, a real big tree. And there was a, a uh, storm, and the tree was knocked down. And after the tree was knocked down, they put up this monument. And this is actually one of the very first monuments for American history anywhere in the United States. This monument here... 1827 this is Delaware Ave if you stood here four years ago the majority of the properties you see being built or being built were not here that wasn't there that one building was there everything else is all new
Man, it's really beautiful here, ain't it? I mean, don't, don't look at the ground below you, but look at the sky and the clouds. Not too shabby. You know, it's crazy how life works. Uh, you know. It is. It's just crazy how life works. Uh, you're going to hear me say this a lot over the next whenever, but if you have a dream, whatever your dream is in life, Start working on your dream. Whatever it is. Unless you want to be a serial killer. If you want to be a writer, write a book. If you want to start collecting records. I don't collect records. Go record shop. I don't Just anything. Whatever your dream is. If you didn't work to accomplish that dream, you did nothing to help your dreams come true. That's all.